Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in today's one-off tutorial, we're trying to see how to do natural language processing with JavaScript. Specifically, we're trying to see how to work with sentiment analysis in JavaScript. So, previously in the previous tutorial, we learned about how to use compromise.js. In this tutorial, we're trying to see how to use sentiment. Right? This is it's a powerful package called sentiment. So, to install it, just go with npm install sentiment. Right, so after installing it, you will have access to it. First, now let's see how to work with it. So I've created a simple file in the .js, and inside this file, we work, we, that's just, that's going to be our workspace. So first of all, I'm going to create a simple variable. So var sentiment. Notice I've made this on capital, right? It's so going to require. Then I'm going to require this particular package. So sentiment. So now I have access to this particular package. So to be able to Work with it, you have to first of all create a simple object, right? So it's going to be our bar, then this is going to be small sentiment. So sentiment can be you can put it into any name, then new sentiment. So this new sentiment, you see that the new sentiment here is referring to this particular key one here, right? That is that is the essence of it. So perfect. Now with this variable that you have created, you have to work with it in several format. Now let's see how to work with it. So the basic stuff is that I'm going to just create a simple test and then work on it. So I'm going to call it as var. Let's say my result or var my docs, right? My document. Then sentiment dot analyze. Then dot analyze. I'm going to put in my sentences. So let's say I I. I like apples, right? Everybody likes apples. An apple a day makes you more healthy. So perfect. So I've been able to analyze. We're going to analyze this perfect for us. So to give it the results, I'm just going to console.log then docs. Right. So with this docs, I'm now going to, it's going to give me the results of whatever thing I want. So to run it, just go with node, the same place that your file is, node and then index js dot js, right? So it's going to run it and then give us the results. Perfect. So it's giving us very very nice information. So the score here is trying to tell about the score of it. So it's we have the score, we have the comparative, we have the tokens, we have the words, the post, and the like. So the post is going to tell us the particular word in the affin. There's something they call affin, right? Uh, a f f a f n n, right? It's a group of lists. It's a list of words which have been analyzed, which is used in sentiment analysis. So it's if it's able to find any word in that particular affin that is related to positive, then that is why it is putting that particular word here. So the inside the word inside this list of affin, the word like is a positive sentiment. So in case it found something different to that, put it in a negative, it's going to put it inside the negative, right? So that is the meaning of this positive. And then the word that it found was like. So these are the tokens. So it analyzed the word and grouped them in tokens. And then the score is that it's a positive score. That means that it's a positive sentiment. That is why it gives us a positive two. Okay, so the affine is grading from negative five to positive five. I think it's five to five. Okay, so that is the main idea about it. And then the comparative is that it's going to count all of these particular tokens, score them, and then find find the sum the sum of the tokens and then the sum of uh, the number of the tokens. And it's going to give us the comparative. That is why it's given at this value. Okay, so that is something basic about it. And let's try something interesting apart from this. Okay. So I'm going to create a simple sentence. So var of my docs is going to be a little phrase that I have. A list of arrays. So these are the sentences that we are trying to analyze. So how do you analyze this particular group of sentences together? So to analyze this particular group of sentences together, I'm going to comment this one out. And then it's going to be like this. So we had this particular test that we had. These are the tests that we had, right? So I want to analyze this. I'm just going to use it for each loop. So it's going to be my docs. But for each, and for each loop takes this particular argument. As you already know, we take a function, and then this function is going to take an element. So the element is going to be let's call it as s, right, for the sentence. And then here, I'm going to pass in whatever thing I want to do. So I'm going to call it as console log, and I'm going to pass in my sentiment. So sentiment, I'm passing this particular sentiment that we had. Here. This sentiment stuff that we had, here, right? That's what I'm passing here. So I'm passing that particular stuff here. Then instead of this, 
I'll pass in my value here, write the S. So it's going to loop through this particular array that I have. Then I'm passing this S here. Perfect. So it's going to give me my result. So let's check it and see. Let's close this and then this. Don't need this again. Okay. Perfect. So you understand? So I'm just looping through this particular stuff and I'm applying the sentiment dot analysis on this to give me my result. So if I go back here and I run it straight away. That's that's analyze it perfectly for us with not that bad with all of these analysis, right? So it is able to detect that the first sentence which was two positive polarity, I like apples, there's a sentence, and then using the word like. So this like is found inside the affirm, right? And then it is found in the positive column. That's why it's given as a positive polarity, positive score of two. And then the same thing for I love apples, which is also three, which is very high because of the word love. Love is higher than like. And then I don't eat pepper. It's giving us zero. That means that it's neutral. So it could not give us any stuff, right? It is. It can be positive polarity. It can be positive sentiment or negative. That's why it's neutral. Then the movie was very nice, and it's given us as three, which is a positive sentiment which is three right so that is the main idea behind that so in case you don't want all this plenty stuff you want it in a simple format you can just go with this instead of this right you can just put the score here plot score and it's only going to list only the score for us if i save it and i run it here back again let's run it again so three zero three three right that means that all of them are positive positive polarity positive positive and this one is going to be zero so we can actually put it inside of let's say sentiment score right take it this way yeah forgotten javascript <laughs> okay so now with this if you go with this so sentiment score three zero so that is this how to do sentiment analysis in so it's very quite it's very very simple you just get a package you create your sentiment object and then you run your analysis on it right so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution i just put inside the comment section so everybody can benefit and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed